finding elapsed time. What is elapsed time? Elapsed time is the duration of time between two given times. There are two ways to find the elapsed time. Method 1. Using a clock model. Find the elapsed time between 7.25 a.m. and 10.50 a.m. Visualize this using a clock model. As shown, the first clock model shows 7.25 a.m. The second one, 8.25 a.m. The third model, 9.25 a.m. The fourth model, 10.25 a.m. And the last model, 10.50 a.m. The difference between the first and second models is one hour. The difference between the second and third models is one hour. And the difference between the third and fourth model is also one hour. However, the difference between the fourth and the last clock model is only 25 minutes. Let us count how many hours and how many minutes then is between 7.25 a.m. and 10.50 a.m. As shown through the arrows, there are 3 hours difference and 25 minutes difference. Therefore, we can say that the elapsed time between 7.25 a.m. and 10.50 a.m. is 3 hours and 25 minutes. For our next example, find the elapsed time between 10.40 a.m. and 2.20 p.m. Use clock models to show the hourly difference between both times. The first model shows 10.40 a.m. The second model shows 11.40 a.m. The third model shows 12.40 p.m. The fourth model shows 1.40 p.m. And the last model shows 2.20 p.m. There is a one-hour difference between the first and second models. 1 hour difference between the second and third model, 1 hour difference between the third and fourth model, and 45 minutes difference between the fourth and last model. How many hours and how many minutes are between 10.40 a.m. and 2.20 p.m.? By looking at the clock models, we can safely say that there are 3 hours and 45 minutes between. Therefore, the elapsed time between 10.40 a.m. and 2.20 p.m. is 3 hours and 45 minutes. We will now learn the second method of finding the elapsed time, which is using the subtraction process. Before we move on, let us first recall important concepts in time. Remember the time measure. 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute. 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour. And 24 hours is equal to one day. Time conversion. Nine o'clock is equal to nine a.m. Thirteen o'clock is equal to one p.m. Fifteen o'clock is equal to three p.m. Eighteen o'clock is equal to six p.m. 
20 o'clock is equal to 8 p.m. and 24 o'clock is equal to 12 midnight. Since a day is composed of 24 hours, so we can say that the standard time is 24 hours. Let us find the elapsed time between 7.25 a.m. and 10.50 a.m. Remember to subtract earlier time from later time. So we will write 10.50 minus 7.25. Subtract separately the minutes and the hours. So 50 minus 25 equals 25 and 10 minus 7 is 3. Therefore, the elapsed time is 325. Another example. Find the elapsed time between 10.20 a.m. and 2.40 p.m. Change the given time to standard time first, then subtract. If you remember, the standard time is composed of 24 hours. Since 2.40 p.m. is not yet a standard time, we will change this. So 2.40 becomes 14.40. Then subtract. 14.40 minus 10, 20. So, separate the minute and the hour. 40 minus 20 equals 20, and 14 minus 10 is 4. Therefore, the elapsed time is 4, 20. For our last example, find the elapsed time between 11.40 a.m. and 5.20 p.m. Remember to regroup if needed. Then, subtract. So, there are multiple steps to this problem. 5.20 p.m. is not yet a standard time. So, we will change this to 17.20. And 11.40 is still 11.40. However, we cannot subtract 20 and 40. Therefore, we need to change 1720 to a different time in order for us to continue subtracting. So, subtract 1 hour from 17 and add it to minutes. Or 17 plus or 17 minus 1 equals 16. And then, the 1 hour, we will change it to minutes, which is 60, since it is an equivalent of 1 hour, and add it to 20 minutes. So, 20 plus 60 equals 80. Therefore, 1720 becomes 1680. And we then subtract. So, 1680 minus 1140. 80 minus 40 equals 40, and 16 minus 11 equals 5. Therefore, the elapsed time is 540.